The battle over the Buffalo school zone speed cameras now taken to court. We started getting hundreds of phone calls from people and before I left the office, Today, another person called. Attorney Kevin Stocker says he represents more than 50 petitioners, arguing in state Supreme Court that the city's speed zone cameras were never legal, and thus, any $50 fines were also against the law. I'm pushing in court that they've been running a dangerous, illegal program, and everybody's money should be returned to them. Stocker wants every person who was fined to receive a refund. His main arguments center around the speed zones being lowered to 15 miles an hour, which is more than 10 below the original limit, and the fact that the cameras are being removed across the city after just more than a year of service. Even though they don't agree with us in court, they agreed in their actions by raising up the school zone limit up to 20. According to State Assistant Attorney General Joel Terragnoli, a state law allowed the cameras to be installed, and thus, the cameras are not illegal. The state passed this law to protect pedestrians uh, that's the rational base. That's the fact finding by the legislature that supported the, the enabling legislation. The state and the city of Buffalo have filed motions to dismiss the lawsuit. The city said they have no comment on the ongoing case. As for Stocker, he tells me he's awaiting the judge's decision, which is expected soon, as he hopes to get $50 back in the pockets of those who have been ticketed. A lot of people are struggling, and if you can't pay a $50 fine, your registration to your vehicle could be suspended. Now you have trouble getting to work. In Buffalo, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.